Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. And on agriculture form 1 lesson 4, topic is factors influencing agriculture. And subtopic is human factors. On to our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the various human factors that influence agriculture. Uh, some of the human factors that normally affect agriculture, we have the first one, uh, level of education and technology. Uh, the second one, health and HIV and health in general. Government policy, transport and communication. And lastly, we have cultural practices and religious beliefs. On to human factors, as I said, we have several of them. We have labor, transport, as they are displayed on here. Then the importance of high level of education and technology. The first one is development of GMO. These are genetic modified organisms, which are developed by altering the genetic makeup of an individual. Some of the food which have been produced through uh, G, uh, altering the genetic makeup is we have the tomatoes. Another example, we have genetic modified uh, maize is also another example. And the second uh, importance of high level of education, we have timely planting. And in timely planting, uh, the farmer with knowledge, high knowledge, will know when to plant and also when to prepare their lands. Uh, the third importance of uh, high level of education is use of correct amount of inputs. For example, if you uh, apply uh, the, the fertilizer, large quantities of fertilizer, it may interfere with the soil fertility, that is by changing the soil pH, and therefore the farmers should know uh, how to manage these inputs in the farm. Uh, the fourth reason, uh, that is uh, time of applying the agricultural inputs. And therefore, high level of education enables the farmer when to apply the input. For instance, there are those fertilizers which, which are supposed to be used during planting, and also there are those fertilizers which are supposed to be used after the crops establishes themselves in the field. For example, during uh, crop dressing. And the other one, we have decision making uh, that is based on observation. And therefore, with knowledge, the farmer will know uh, by looking at the symptoms uh, of the crops in the farm or the symptoms of the animal. They can know the likelihood of the disease uh, affecting the animals and come up with uh, the, the, the drugs or, uh, and they can go and dry the chemicals, the drugs which they can use to control such diseases. And the second one, we have HIV, uh, AIDS victim. There is a victim here. And what is the effect of HIV, AIDS, or health in general in the farm? Uh, the first effect, we have shortage of labor. That is farm labor in the farm. Uh, high cost of living, uh, low living standard, uh, low food supply in the country, and also government expenditure. Uh, expenditure, uh, high government expenditure and NGOs because a lot of money is spent uh, when tr caring for these people who are infected uh, with HIV AIDS and therefore they cannot manage to go to the farm and this results to reduction of labor in the farm and also due to using of a lot of money it means that the, the cost of living will also uh, go up and food supply also it will reduce because uh, the there are few people who are providing labor in the farm as a result of most of them being affected with HIV AIDS. So we will go to the effects of government uh, policy on agriculture, that is the third one, and the, the effect include heavy taxation on inputs. And this will prevent people to import agricultural commodities from other countries. Why? Because they are taxed heavily and therefore they will be forced to, to purchase the locally produced agricultural commodities. 
Then we have the second one, government subsidy. The government should subside, uh, uh, subs, uh, provide agricultural subsidy in form of uh, fertilizer, cheap fertilizer, and also manure to the farmers. And by so doing, they will motivate the farmer because uh, the farmer needs to be assisted a bit so that they can be motivated in their agricultural activities. Quality control, this is um, de uh, dealt by the cabs, whereby the cabs normally uh, look for the quality, make sure that the, uh, the locally produced goods are of high quality. For example, if it is maize, they make sure that the maize which is produced in the country is of high quality and they make sure that the Kenya seed company uh, normally provide the farmers with high quality seeds so that they can uh, beat the threshold which, which is required by the, by the country of high uh, quality production of high quality commodities. Then we have uh, conservation of natural resources such as the livers, uh, the, the, the forest, because you know that the forest are the catchment areas. Most of the important rivers uh, originate from the forest, and therefore forests should be conserved. And those people who normally cut down the forest so that they can burn the charcoals, they should be arrested and taken to the court of law because they will be interfering with the ecosystem. And by interfering with the ecosystem, they will interfere with the hydrological cycle, and therefore uh, to an extent resorting to desertification because if all the trees are cut down, it means that the temperatures uh, in the environment will uh, change. We look on effect of well-developed transport system. We have several here. We have well-developed roads. We have air transport and also we have uh, rail transport and application of technology in farming. Uh, on a Application of technology on farming, many farmers normally use mobile phone uh, to Google and look for the right fertilizer to use, the correct seed to use in their farm. And if they have a question, they can inquire through the, the phone to the agricultural officers, uh, which are normally provided by the government. Then we have the drone, use of drone. They normally use the drone uh, to study all to supervise the agricultural activities taking place in the farm. Uh, the drones is used to take the pictures in the farm. Uh, the effect of well-developed transport system, as I said, we have various transport system. We have airways. The airways is used uh, when it comes in transportation of um, horticultural crops, that is from the farm to the market, because horticultural crops are very very perishable and therefore they must be transported very very fast uh, leads to faster acquisition of agricultural inputs from industries uh, to the farm and the last one electronic media helps in access of wider market and therefore they can look for the market through the internet and using the mobile phone and so on effect of cultural and religious practices uh, culture of a certain community determine the patterns of production and also patterns of consumption. And therefore we can look on a business here, that is agricultural activity whereby there is a pig a rearing a farmer n uh, will not get a market in a Muslim community. And therefore uh, this business will have a limita limitation when it comes to the market. Then uh, we will look on this activity and the first question I'm going to leave with you is explain any four ways in which human factors influence agriculture. And if you have any inquiry, you can reach us through the following addresses. Uh, before I give the address, I can give you the reference where you can get the, the reference or the information. The reference is in Secondary Agriculture Student Book 1. Uh, that is the publisher is the KLB. And for more information, you can reach us through the SMS as they are displayed here on this screen. Then we have the Facebook, uh, that is Erim TV, and also at uh, Twitter, that is Erim TV. <laughs>